science. All right, let's do it. Uh, you're going to need um, some water. Drinking water is fine. Uh, in a glass, a glass that's clear and has no writing on at least a, a side of it. So you can clearly see from the top to the bottom of the glass. Um, <clears throat> do you need a glass? You're going to need a mixing container. It could be anything. This is my Ventiki, my awesome Ventiki uh, uh, glass. That's another story. Um, and so I just need a mixing guy. Something to make ice cubes with. So a little tray could be a disposable to go container or anything like that. It doesn't matter, but something you can put in the freezer. Um, and then you need some salt. So here I just have regular, regular old salt. You don't want to have big rock salt. You want fine grain salt that'll dissolve very easily. And then lastly, some type of food coloring. I'm going to make up two batches here because I, I make up, so I have two glasses going on here. Um, and the, so I have two containers, but you only need to do one. If you want to do two, just to make sure it works out right, that's great, but you only need one. I'm just going to fill this glass up with water up to, you know, basically the top. And then I'm going to start to add my salt. Now the amount of salt I'm just going to add is, is to the point where um, it, it, it's salty, right? So I'm first take a sip. Okay, good. Nice, clear, regular tap water. Clear, clear. You could use DI water. You could use anything that's, you know, drinkable, fresh water. Um, and I'm going to start adding my salt in. Okay. So as I add this in, this, this salt's a little bit coarse. Ideally, you'd use some fine grain stuff. And so uh, it's going to take a minute or so. But we can see this is starting to already get a little cloudy. Okay. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. So, so having a, another cup helps you with the mixing. Okay, great. Now what we want is after we've, we've mixed it a few times, we wanna make sure there's no precipitate in the bottom, right? So all the salt is dissolved. All the salt is, is in the water. Let's take a little quick, little taste. Yep, tastes very salty. Tastes like the ocean. So that's great. So I've added in about, uh, ooh, I'd say for this one pint glass, I've added in about two, two, three tablespoons or so. But uh, the amount doesn't matter, right? If we're in lab, we'd measure it out specifically and do all these things, but that doesn't matter. So we're just adding this stuff in here. Okay, so here we go. So we've made salt water. We've made some ocean water. Now I'm going to pour out just enough of this uh, salt water into my container. So it's going to fill it up, um, you know, as, as much as possible. So I'm going to pour this guy into here. Okay, cool. Um, now let me, let me see if you can let me put this down so you can see this. Okay. So here we go. All right. Now I've poured my water in here. Now I'm going to take this guy, dump it into here. And I'm going to add just one drop or so. Oh, sorry. That was not supposed to happen. One drop of uh, food coloring. Okay. Give that a second. Swirl this guy around. So now I have green salt water, right? The same salinity as in this glass. So I'm just going to take this, pour this back into here. And now I have this green stuff right here that um, I'm gonna go stick in the freezer. I'm gonna leave it in the freezer for a long time, ideally 24 hours, but many, many hours, so it's, it's frozen from top to bottom. And that's our first step. Now, um, there are a couple variants you guys could do. You, you could, you could, um, uh, you don't have to use food coloring. We need something to mark the water, mark the frozen ice cube. So uh, you could use something like uh, 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 pea flowers um, or other kind of flowers if you wanted to go super organic or something like that. But food coloring is the easiest thing. Again, also ideally, in the theoretically ideal world, you'd have a perfectly glass column like this that would be clear and, and, and see-throughable so that you could um, see what's the next step more easily. But again, that doesn't matter. As long as we have some, some uh, glass, or the glass is free of labels on at least one half of the glass, you can see from the top to the bottom, we're good to go. Other than that, oh, the last thing I'm gonna do is I have a uh, do not, I have some do not touch signs that I made because my family likes to clean things up and I tend to be, I tend to be messy. I don't know why you'd think I'd be messy, but apparently I'm messy. Um, and so I'm going to put these bad boys on here and, uh, and that way nobody's going to touch my glass as I set it aside. So 
this needs to stay the way it is um, for the next part of the experiment. So we're both gonna need a frozen ice cube and we're gonna need our frozen or our, our unfrozen ocean um, model here. Ready, set, go. Very exciting, doing science in your kitchen. Love it.